How many of you here consider yourselves creative? Okay, and how many of you believe you can become more creative? All right. LinkedIn, the world's most popular social networking website, released statistics in late 2019, which stated that creativity was the most sought after skill in employees. In short, the ability to come up with ideas and apply that new knowledge. Creativity is clearly important. It's also fulfilling and how some find purpose. Today, I will discuss why creativity is a skill and how you can become more creative through means of input and output. So why is creativity a skill? I think children are a great example. They are forced into a constant state of learning. They ask questions and apply their new knowledge. Adults are not like this. George Land, in a TED Talk at Tuscan, revealed this statistic, where 98% of children averaged at the age of five were ranked as geniuses on imaginative thinking. Adults, averaged at the age of 31, were at just 2%. Similar to learning a language, you learn creativity through input and output. So let's talk about input. Input involves absorbing as many new creative ideas as possible. Maybe you listen to a podcast where creative directors build a world from scratch, or you learn about a country you've never heard of. Essentially, immerse yourself in creative fuel and do it consistently. In preparing for this speech, I watched talks on how to give a better speech and how to be more creative in general. This made me a better speech giver, made me more creative in speeches, and more creative in general. Creative fuel is most powerful when it re relates directly to the, your goal. Creativity is ultimately about connecting things. So the more varied your input is, the more varied your output or ideas will be. So what about output? Output involves coming up with ideas and applying that new knowledge. Maybe you write down your ideas or you discuss them with other people. Whatever you do, it's important to do it consistently and let your brain know that you care about your ideas. I have a friend who comes up with a new video game idea every day. I write characters and come up with their backstories. If you enjoy writing songs, then come up with as many random lyrics as possible. If you want to force ideas, then brainstorm. Spear out as many ideas as possible with the goal of your brainstorming session in mind. Write down the bad ideas too, because you might come back later and be like, you know, I thought this idea was terrible, but it was genius. What was I thinking? It's also important to be adaptable with your creativity. If you really don't want to draw it, then draw in a way that expresses how you don't want to draw it and listen to music while you do it. If you don't want to write, write something that has a deep focus on the sense of smell. The next thing you tackle creatively, the better you'll be at, become, at coming up with ideas for it. There are countless ways to be creative, and I've mentioned very few here. It's important to explore your creativity and to do it consistently. I've discussed why creativity is a skill and how you can become more creative through input and output. In the end, remember that creativity is ultimately about connecting things. So the more varied your input is, the more varied your output is also known as your ideas. I would like to end by challenging these two questions. Which of these images represents a more creative mind? And what are you doing to get there? Thank you.